What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Friday, and welcome to this week's episode of Liquor Run. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and this is my old man, Rolly. You're getting ready with the gun a little early there. It's <laughs> uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, the gym and watches, and do you wear one, do you mm. not, uh, do's and don'ts, all that kinds of stuff, over a bottle of what, Daddy-o? Cremant de Limoux. Cremant de Limoux. Great story behind these wines. All right, let's get into it, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, before we jump into the Cremant de Lelou, de Lemou, uh, a wristwatch check. What are you wearing, Daddy-o? I'm wearing my uh, GMT. Yeah. It, it's, it's awesome. It, it looks beautiful. Thank you. Uh, that's it. <laughs> what, what else to say? What else to say about the GMT? Uh, I wonder how many times you've worn that. Think I about know. it. I mean, you wore it every day for the first eight years yeah. or seven years. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot right there. Uh, and then you've worn it probably no less than... Three quarters of the year, yes. every year since. That's correct. So, jeez. Uh, it's a lot of days. Quite a few thousand wears. Uh, I'm wearing my Rolex uh, uh, Datejust, reference 1601, a watch that I've also worn uh, thousands of times, at least over uh, at least over a thousand times um, since I've gotten it uh, four years ago. I actually just found out it was September 25th. That was the day that I bought this watch. Wow. We should make that like a teenage holiday. Sure. Uh, you know, That's right. Uh, official teen. Everyone yeah. gets a free day just. All right. Topic is the gym watches. We both go to the gym. We both hate the gym. Right. But we both do go to the gym. Uh, and, uh, and we'll see what uh, what watches we wear. Bottle, daddy -o. Let's crack it open. All right. So let's talk a little bit about this. Yep. Uh, this is a French wine. Yep. Uh, it comes from the Languedoc area of, of it's southern France. Yep. Why I picked this wine is because, you know, champagne is synonymous, right, with, with luxury and, and festivity. And um, it's considered the standard bearer, right, mm -hmm. for sparkling wine. Well, I'm here to tell you that uh, as great as champagne is, also champagne is very overpriced. Mm -hmm. And little... I don't know if many people know this, but Cremant de Limoux was actually invented, or a sparkling wine of this of this type, uh, was actually invented here. It was was being made before champagne makers, before Dom Perignon wow. began making champagne okay. in cha you know yeah. in champagne, yeah. uh, making sparkling wine in champagne. Uh, he went down to. Uh, Limoux okay. to learn the technique, wow. and he brought it back up to Champagne. The rest is history, the rest is of history. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a rosé Cremant de Limoux. Okay. It's got a Chardonnay. Okay, it's got a little Chenin Blanc. Beautiful, and a touch of uh, Pinot Noir which gives it the uh, gives it the color. Looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm excited. And we've had Gerard Bertrand wines before. I think so. Yeah. So Oh, look at that! Beautiful. beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's have a little. These are unorthodox uh, glasses, but wrong. It doesn't glasses. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I couldn't care less. Yeah, we are. We're in the in the, We're in southern France right now. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have a little cremant. It's beautiful color. Okay, wow. It's beautiful gorgeous. salmon yeah. color. It's got it already. I can smell smell the nose. What are you? Beautiful uh, red fruit like strawberry. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like it smells like yeah. strawberry. Yeah. So let's. Uh, yeah. Salute, Daddy. Salute. A la santé. A la santé. That's delicious. Wow, that's delicious. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's really delicious. 13 bucks. That is great. And I think Can't that what probably most people hate about a lot of popular champagnes mm. is that bitterness uh, that you have in a lot of popular champagnes. This does not have that. Oh, so if you're looking for a sparkling French wine without that, mm -hmm. it's very it's very limited. It's very minimal. Uh, it's more restrained. It doesn't have that, that same uh, taste. Nice, right? That's yeah, delicious. You, Little, uh, it's got a little fruit to it, but it's still, it's still, it's still uh, acidic. Yep. And it's got a little bit like that yeasty thing. I like. Yep. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Mm -hmm. So let's chat. Chat. So, as much as we like to drink wine, yes, a problem that is posed by all of our wine drinking um, is a little extra putting under the skin. You see what I mean? Oh, absolutely. And historically, we Zerones are not gym people. We're not exercise people. We are, you know, cheese and wine people with arms like veal. Yes. Uh, I, you know. Absolutely. At, at my peak, I looked like a 13-year-old girl. I could, um, I could donate my body to science fiction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you go through kind of a, an awakening every once in a while. 
both of us fairly recently, uh, you know, within the last couple of months where you say, geez, you know, it's, it's, I really should go to the gym. It's, it's just not healthy. It's not healthy to kind of abuse your body all the time. And, and while, believe me, at the gym, I am not this, you know, this uh, really uh, active person. I go, I do my little thing like an old man and I go home. Right. Okay? <laughs> right. But nonetheless, um, the gym does, uh, uh, at the gym, like everywhere else in my life, I can't help but to notice watches. Yeah. Okay. All right, before we get into it, I really want to know, you guys, please, immediately now, comment down below. What watch do you wear at the gym? Are you afraid of wearing a nice watch? Are you uh, uninterested, uh, like one of us might be, um, in wearing a real beater sports watch? I'd really like to hear it. So comment down below, and now let's get into it. Personally, I don't wear a watch at the gym. This conversation, in many ways, is going to serve as utility for me to figure out what I need to start doing, how to fix that. Yeah. Um, but the things that I see see at the gym as far as watches are funny, right? And the funniest thing that I do see, right, is the guy um, that usually a big guy, a real, you know, big tough guy, a real knuckle dragger, mm -hmm. as, uh, as Woody Allen would call him, with his brand new Rolex sub on. Yeah. Right? I see that a lot. Yeah. And and let me say this. There is, there's nothing wrong. If, if, if you, if you want to do whatever, it's what you're watch like you want to you want to do it if you want to hit it against a dumbbell that's fine if you're really careful with it at the gym and i'm just being judgy then i'm an asshole. fine like cool right but it is always funny because you know it's like how do i say this like like can you not bear to not be with it for an hour like you know what i mean like can you not just can you not like leave the watch at home just for an hour at yeah. the gym? but then you wear your watch at the gym right i do and and uh and and i wear it when i run uh and but I'll tell you a story that I'm always very conflicted about whether I should put it on or not, mm -hmm. only because I think, what if I'm by myself, mm -hmm. I'm working out, and I have a massive heart attack and I die? And <laughs> they could. T What's someone could, wrong with you? But I'm thinking these Who things. Who thinks <laughs> about it? you? Cynic. <laughs> no I have no idea want them taking where my he was DMC. going with that. That's right, but I do think it. And, uh, uh, but I wear it anyway. <laughs> so, that's uh, hysterical. Yeah. yeah. Oh I'm like, I don't know, should I put it on? Wait, wait. Oh, I feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's great. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but I do wear, I wear it. I wear it to, to, to run. I wear it to work out, you know, yep. jump rope, whatever yep. it is. And, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it's yet another it's activity that I do with it. Do you sleep with a watch or no? No, no, I don't. Neither do I. Um, I do when I travel for business. God, because God, you know, I, God, God forbid, I'm in a rush and I tend, I forget it. Right. Then I will, I just sleep with it on. Naturally, as you might, as you might understand, the negatives to wearing a nice watch at a gym are very strong. Yes. Right. Uh, when you're at the gym, you are being, you know, disproportionately active compared to the rest of your day. You are near and swinging and moving yeah. near. Uh, you know, hard metal objects, mm -hmm. you know, uh, everything at the gym is metal. If you hit your arm on something, you're in trouble. Yeah. You're usually uh, usually wearing either one short sleeves or two a long shirt rolled up yes. a little bit. Yes. So that watch is exposed. That's what makes me afraid. That's why when I see one of these guys wearing his new sub, mm -hmm. I get like an anxiety attack because I'm thinking, geez, buddy, just leave your watch at home. God yeah. forbid. I'm having a panic attack for the watch. Right. You know, God forbid you freaking go to swing and you hit your arm on the... Yes. On the is, what, is it worth it? Is it worth it? So I get anxiety. That's why I leave the gym after 12 minutes. You know? <laughs> I get anxiety attack and I leave. I'm going, 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 going. This was nice. Goodbye. Um, that's why I have chosen not to wear a watch. But okay. there is a happy medium. Right? Yep. It isn't like Rolex or nothing. No, that's right. Of course. Okay. Yeah. There are watches yeah. that are not designed for the gym, but are basically perfect for the gym. Absolutely. Like a G-Shock. Yes. That's a watch that I do see a lot at the gym, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's a watch that, like Michael, uh, our, our editor, our team, H team member, a character on the show, uh, says you could throw it at a wall and it, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Uh, usually made of rubber, yeah. right? Most of them are made of rubber. So if you hit it on a, on a bar, nothing's going to happen. Right. You know, it's extremely uh, uh, legible. Right, mm -hmm. it has function too. Yeah. It's it, it's it's more reliable and more actually of a tool than any of the watches that I personally own. Mm -hmm. You know, although this vintage Omega three twenty is a beautiful chronograph. Yeah, it is not as functional no. right. as his G Shock. Yeah, you know, if you're running for more than thirty minutes, you know your counter no longer works because your count, you know, the counter goes up to thirty. Oh, so wow. after you know you have to that's keep it. you know that's yeah. it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Um, uh, so the watches that we curate are definitely not for the gym, um, but there are watches like that 
out yeah. there. Yeah. Right? I think G-Shock, G-Shock's the, right? That's the one, isn't it? I suppose, and then uh, you see a lot of people wearing uh, Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Apple Watch, what they put, they'll put a rubber strap on. Yep. And, I mean, but that's now become just, just everywhere. Everywhere, you know? just, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 but the Apple Watch has the utility because it manages yeah. your heart rate. And I, I like, like that. that. That's great. Yeah, I like that's, that. You would know if you're gonna yeah. have a heart attack. I think. I would. Yeah, would. Do. Hopefully, I, it would tell me. It would start. To, you know, I get my. You know, you I, I drop, download. You take the, take your the, watch out. Right, and yeah. Give it to a, give it to a, 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 a kind stranger. <laughs> yeah. Like, just please give this to my son. Get the electroshock uh, yeah. app. You know? Yeah. Um, so, I guess ultimately it comes down to this. You wear your Rolex to the gym. Mm -hmm. do One, I, do you think it's a good idea? And two, are you going to continue to do that? Even though you know there are probably watches, there are definitely watches out there that are better for the gym. Will I continue to do it? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I don't really work out a lot with, with heavy weights mm -hmm. and things. So I usually am working out on a treadmill at uh, negative five incline at a point five. <laughs> You're walking uh, downhill. Speed. I'm walking downhill. It's a glass it, of wine. It, right. Like I'm walking down from the mountains in Cinque Terre. You right. We're going for my uh, glass of wine. So uh, uh, I, and I make sure that I always wear a long sleeve. Okay. I, don't, I don't wear a short sleeve to work out. So you do you and do I, 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 treat it well. Yeah, I, I, and I'm very aware that I have the watch on. And I got to so, say, so, yeah. this watch is yeah. what, uh, 13 years old? Yeah. And you really have yeah. no significant no. nicks or, da no. or, or dings or anything. Yeah. Seriously, I got to give yeah. it to you. Yeah. Um, everyone says when you get a great watch, that first scratch really hurts. After yeah. that, you're okay. Yeah. But that first I scratch hurts. I believe it. But You've had that watch yeah. for 13 years, and yeah. you and you've worn it everywhere to do everything. Yeah. And there's never, there's not even a single issue with that watch aesthetically right. or mechanically, but aesthetically. Yeah. Yeah. So good for you. Yeah. So I mean, not to say that, right? No. Who knows what happens? But, right. But I, I do, I do try to. I know I have it on, and yeah. I. I but I like to have it on. Yeah. For me, uh, you know, I know I should wear a watch just because I just enjoy wearing watches. I prefer to wear a watch than not wear a watch all day, truthfully. The only time I don't want one is to sleep. But um, again, because the watches that, that own my heart are really not watches that belong at the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, look, we have a, a vintage Datejust, a vintage Triple Calendar, um, you know, a vintage Omega, a GMT, um, a predecessor to yours. I am nervous. I like to go in the sauna too. Right. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's it's it, 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 for me. It's just too dangerous. Uh, so I'm gonna. Yeah, we're both gonna keep doing exactly what we're doing. <laughs> right. Uh, but the conversation, nonetheless, is important. If you guys out there uh, have any watch suggestions for us, uh, gym watch suggestions, please comment them below. I I'm totally open to being changed. I mean, and I'm sure he is as well. I mean, at the moment, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. But if you guys have any recommendations or any tips, uh, maybe something that's a little less bulky than the G-Shock, mm. maybe something that make me you know feel a little bit more at home then uh, i'd really love to hear it right yeah i would love I, I would consider wearing uh, just a sport watch like that just to work out thanks for coming on the show uh, some uh, comments you know, go out and get the uh, gerard yeah. bertrand delicious right uh Absolutely. rose and even and even the 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 white you know the, yep. the blanc uh and let's uh, let's hear what you guys have to say about this one i loved it thanks so much daddy -o. on the sunday